Nobody knows exactly how many different species of trees there are in the world. Some reports say there are over 100,000 different ones. What we do know is that trees are important. Trees are important for many reasons. Um, obvious ones is that they create oxygen. They also um, help clean the air by carbon sequestration, which uh, is a big fancy term for reducing the carbon content in, uh, in the air. Uh, they also protect the ground groundwater uh, to stop um, flooding issues, uh, erosion issues. They, they provide habitat for, for birds and animals. In cities, all of the trees and ground vegetation found throughout the area on both private and public land is referred to as an urban forest. In the official community plan, it was recognized that we needed to have an urban forest management strategy. It is a document that is a guiding document uh, to um, protect the urban forest, which means everything in the city of Nanaimo, all trees on private public property, in parks, on the boulevards, um, and including all of the environment that goes with the trees, the shrubs, the grasses, all the ground covers, the birds, the animals. All trees eventually fail, get diseases, fungus, start to lose limbs. Most end up being removed to protect people and property. And that appeared to be the case for an extraordinary ornamental cherry tree in downtown Nanaimo. It had a couple of uh, serious issues. Um, the, the form and character of this particular type of flowering cherry, the Peruna shirafugan, um, is that they have a lot of very large lateral limbs. So they, have, they grow horizontal to the ground um, and they can get quite heavy. And this one obviously really liked the ground that it was growing in. It's not really that old. It was planted in 1985. So we looked at this tree because we, one of the, the horticulturalists contacted me and said she was concerned because she saw some splits in the, in the branching and she also saw a small fungus growth at the root base, uh, the crown. And uh, so I came and I looked at it and we kind of hummed and hawed and she wanted it, um, something done with it. So we thought this isn't harming anybody. If we brace it and make it safe, it, we can get quite a few more years out of it before it eventually does fail, like all trees will eventually, even if you do protect them. Now people can see what can be done to protect a tree without removing it. As homeowners, we should probably have an urban forestry management plan as well. Most of us don't understand how trees grow. Often they get in the way of our view and we get out the pruners. We have a website. Uh, we have just a wealth of information on there. And it's, it's very simple to get to. And uh, there's, there's information on there about how to prune trees, why not to top trees, a wealth of information and there's also contacts from there that you can go to other websites like the International Society of Arboriculture which I'm a member of um, and they have all kinds of valuable information for homeowners. Learning how to look after our existing trees and new ones we plant make a better world. In Nanaimo, I'm Annette Lucas.